The three day sun fest event in West Palm Beach just wrapped up for the year. Thousands of people turning out at the downtown waterfront for all the music, the food and the fun. But there are also plenty of issues that kept police busy. WPTV's Brianna Nesperal reports. It's the Sunfest finale, an exciting end to the festival's three-day run. I came to see 311. And I came to check out Ziggy Marley. The killers. Just saw all-time low, so middle school me is thriving. <laughs> the last day bringing big crowds. Security has been busy. If there's a lot of police officers. I like seeing all the security and police uh, personnel around. That makes us feel safe and secure. But just last night, West Palm Beach police say they arrested two women with five stolen iPhones, more than $1,800 in cash, debit and credit card, just name a few, all taken from people enjoying the shows. Uh, we were fortunate that we got them. We got them pretty quickly. Police arrested the two women as the festival goers applauded. While the concert goers are watching the concert, these cell phone thieves, cell phone thieves are watching the, uh, the, the concert goers and our officers are watching uh, for the thieves. Police say the two women refused to give them their names or identify themselves and kept speaking Spanish, refusing arrest. One made her first appearance in court this morning. Bond said 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 1,000. Police believe these two women are part of an organized ring and there may be more suspects and more victims. This probably isn't the first time they've done this. They think they're slick, but guess what? We got them, we're holding them, and uh, we're going to get to the bottom of the story. It's just another reminder to not let your guard down and keep an eye out on all your belongings. It's all part of their mission to keep everyone safe at Sunfest. In West Palm Beach, I'm Brianna Nusbra, WPTV News Channel 5.